All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World, and I'm Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video of WAC 100 saying he got the phone call that Philadelphia wants to team up with Chicago and come down to the City of Angels and blow us down. All right, so check this out. Before we get into that video, if you guys are new to the Hater World, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video, and most importantly, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you like what I'm doing or whether you don't. And to all my day ones, I salute. You guys already know nothing but love. But check this out. Uh, we already reached 10K. I know I've been saying it for a few. Let's get to 15 and then 20. All right, but here we got this video that somebody sent me. Uh, it's not the clip from actually uh, Clubhouse. It's a clip from another another uh, blogger. So I'm going to give him a shout out just because I don't want nobody thinking that I'm stealing material even though it was sent to me. Uh, the guy's name is hood news media 310 so salute my boy uh so other than that let's get into this video with no further ado what we're going to do is just play it and then press pause and give you guys a south siders reaction in between all right it's about three minutes long so uh it's not going to be a long video at all all right so once again uh let's get into this video whack 100 saying that philly wants to come down and blow down la uh before we even get into it i doubt it i highly doubt it but let's go Man, can't be me. I hope they understand that that makes that makes the people over there that don't get along vote trying to get along. Yes, sir. So when there's a common enemy, and especially an enemy coming from out of state, trying to test the the land, the city, we all come together. And I don't want to say all like. Southsiders are going to come along and, and help help the black gangs or vice versa. Here, what I'm speaking for is just in general. If if outsiders came and tried to test the South Side, everybody from the South Side would get together. you know. And in this case, every, they want to come and test the black brothers. All the gangs will come together. When I mean all the gangs, all the black gangs. Okay? So when I speak, I speak in general. But yeah, it makes uh, enemies come together. Because there's nobody going to come down here and try to laugh at us. All right, but let's go. I hope they don't. I hope that gets the board. Here's what WAC 100 and them don't know about. On Instagram, Philly is asking Chicago and New York to join in, and they drafted up a couple of them. I think it's a couple of Latin Kings pulling up from Chicago and Bloods from New York. Latin Kings want smoke with Serenios. Latin Kings want beef with the double S. Listen. All this sounds like a fucking fairy tale. It, what else did he say? There are black gangs who want smoke with the black gangs in LA. They so they want the Latin Kings to come down here and beef with the South Side, and they want the blacks to come down here and beef with the blacks. I mean, it can't happen, you know. And I say it can't happen because all it takes is a motherfucker to get in the car and come down here with a with a gun. So it's not like something that can't happen. But will it happen? I highly doubt it. Unless you're ready to die or go to prison. And motherfuckers nowadays that are on the internet are not ready to do either one of those. Okay, maybe some kids that are in the hood and don't give a fuck. Maybe. But you're recruiting people online to come down here. That's 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 a tall tale number one right there. If you're really from the streets, you don't need to recruit nobody online, bro. You just go to the hood. You know, go from hood to hood to hood recruiting people that way. But let's go. Let's press play. They'll be posted up hella deep outside of Roscoe. And they'll be wearing their gold chain. They said they're not flying on an airplane because they can't get their burners in. So they Bro, if these motherfuckers were to post outside of Roscoe's with their chains on, first of all, all the surrounding L.A. gangs will know that you're not from L.A. For one, because they'll see a crowd and they know that when when uh, when people are posted outside, it's in twos and threes, not in crowds. Uh, and if it's a crowd, you're talking about a crowd of five or six people at the most because that calls out the attention of the cops that are passing by. Uh, so they know that if there's a bunch of people out there and the way they dress, you're not from the town. They're going to see you out there in your fucking uh, in your uh, in your boots with your long ass jackets and your gold chains and your slick back hair. I'm talking about the Latin King guys from the photo I see here. They don't they don't mix in with the Southsiders, okay? They don't. And the black gangs as well. They're not gonna mix in. So so if the homies from LA know that it's funk, 
They're not going to stop by and say hello, bro. They're going to blow you down from far away. You think they're going to walk up on you and say, where are you from? Knowing that you're not from the town? Knowing that you guys are doing all this fucking commotion on the internet? Bro, all they're going to do is send a few homies down to, to light the shit up. And you're not even going to be able to bust a cap. But let's go. Driving out here hella deep. I'll gladly run a fade with them if they're down to make it happen. But at that Hood News 310. They ain't trying to run a fade, my boy. They ain't trying to run a fade. They're trying to do a... They're trying to intimidate a motherfucker. And it's not going to happen. Bro, first of all, you know how, how outnumbered they're going to be? You know how outgunned they're going to be? Even if a hundred of them come. Even if 500 of them come. Bro, even if a thousand came. They would not win, bro. They would not win. And I'm not, I'm not, I know you guys know that I'm from LA, right? But I'm not here just trying to boast that LA is going to win. It's just the, the math doesn't add up. Because if you guys come to LA, uh, one gang alone has more than 500 members. And yeah, you're going to go to a spot that has fucking 30 gangs all, all around the corners. How, how the fuck do the numbers even match up? And not only that, but the weapons. The weapons you're going to bring is not going to be enough for the weapons that we have. But again, if LA, if LA went down to Philly and Chicago, it would be the same thing. We would not win because we're the we're the away team and you guys are the home team. The resources are there for the home team always. You know, that's why when you watch basketball or baseball, the odds most of the time are with the home team because they got the crowd, they got the, the they got better sleep at night cuz they slept at home rather than when you fly out to go play a game somewhere else and you're 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 playing on 3 hours of sleep, you're in somebody's arena where the fans don't like you. So th when the tables are turned, if we go to LA, we not win. If we go to Chicago, we not winning. If Chicago comes to LA, they not winning. That's it. Let's go. Today, I'll give them respect for pulling up in our lands, ready for any smoke. Imagine if we really go to war with them. It's going to take three days of driving just to do a drive-by shooting. What do you say is going to take hours for a drive? Let's go. Let's rewind this. Days of driving just to do a drive-by shooting. First of all, double S don't do drive-bys, okay? And if the Latin Kings are coming, uh, they're going to be taken off the map very easy and very fast. Sorry to say. But all that has to come down is one call, and it's over, you know. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I believe all this shit is false. And to any Latin kings that are watching, I salute homies, nothing but love. To any any black gangs from Chicago and, and, uh, and Philly, nothing but love. But I think this is just all a plot from WAC 100 and the stupid ass shit that he always be saying. Okay, I don't think he got no fucking phone. Who called him? I don't even like him. For the fact that he had that whole beef with Meek Mill and uh, and uh, and Beanie Siegel. Come on. And and this is not to start a war in between L.A. and Chicago. Don't fall for it. To everybody that's watching me right now that's from, from Chi-Town and Philly, don't fall for this narrative that WAC 100 is, is, is spilling. And don't fall for the agenda that, that now it's L.A. versus Philly. Don't fall for that shit. I'm telling you firsthand because the Eagles will never win. It's just like I'm telling you LA is tough, you're telling me Philly's tough, and we ain't never going to win because there is nobody tougher than nobody. You know, put me in an arena with somebody from Chicago. I'm going to do what I have to do to fucking get at him, and he's going to do the same to me. So, so don't fall for that shit. Don't fall for it. Let's go. <laughs> it's funny. Their Instagram of all the people that wants to join them on coming over here is getting bigger and bigger they are recruiting tough it might be world war three in these cali streets in a few weeks you guys let me know what you guys think like and subscribe to my channel page bye. bro he said it's gonna be world war three in these streets check this out if they do come and they stand outside of roscoe's if the cops don't get to them first the 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 la homies are gonna go and light them the fuck up, right? Where there probably won't even be a building left. They'll probably even throw a fucking grenade in there. You know? Uh, and by the time that 
By the time all this happens, if the cops were not already on the scene because of the crowd, the cops will be there to either pick up the dead bodies or arrest the people. And unless you got more convoys coming from Philly, it's over. Fucking what took you guys two years to plan was over in three minutes. Makes no sense. Let's go. Then you go over there from out there over there. Talk about you pushing any line. Everything over there that don't get along is going to get along for the time being. Yeah, that yeah. is very bad. Hell uh, yeah. One thing you ain't going to do is come from out of town and go to this. You, yeah, you know, I hope you ain't. Say, you talking about the Swans, the Hoovers, the 8 8 the 8 7 the Main Street, and don't go under that bridge to what's off a of fig. Uh, uh, that's a bar. Don't go under that bridge to what's off a of fig. That's a bar. Right? And then all that. The only way. The only way where where I believe if these fools were strategic, and when I mean these fools, I mean Philly, Chicago, New York, Latin Kings, whoever wants to come, right? The only way where I will see it being beneficial, first of all, they would have to crash out unless they knew somebody from the city that gave them directions, which I doubt is going to happen, right? They'd really have to do their research on Google Maps, uh, unless they know somebody that's been out here and knows knows where to drive to and where to go, where everybody kicks it on the spots, right? But the only way would be to send car loads one at a time, right? So imagine you get a car load of like four or five people, and they go out first. So 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 I'm just making all this shit up in my head, right? But from standing outside of Roscoe's, expecting something to happen, the confrontation that'll be over in three minutes, that ain't gonna work. Okay, what's gonna work is. All these dudes that are coming from Chicago and Philly, they, they get a place on the outskirts of L.A., right? They get like a, a, a B &B, Airbnb or a Mo not even a Momo because you get busted. Uh, Airbnb, somewhere outside in the outskirts, right? They all meet up, a couple of Airbnbs, okay? Uh, and so you get a whip. And now you got five homies in the whip, and they go out to L.A., to one of the neighborhoods, and boom, they fucking blow shit down. Get back in the whip, that car takes back off to Philly. Boom, it's gone. Now, a day later, then you got another car coming out of the safe out of the safe zone. It goes to a neighbor a different neighborhood in LA. Blow shit down. Boom, goes back to Philly. And you repeat the process. Either that or the same day. The same day you guys got 20 car loads, go to 20 different hoods, blow everything down, and get the fuck out of Dodge. That's the only way it's gonna work. And that might not even work, but I mean that's a better idea than just coming and posting in front of Roscoe's and being a being a sitting duck. And these are all stories, my peeps. These are all stories, okay? But let's go. It, it's some it's some dangerous and all in a half a mile radius in every direction. I, I hope that's just a problem. Yeah, because I, I dare you this. I, I I tell you this: if that happens, LA will not go to Chicago. L.A. will not fucking take time out of their day to fucking recruit people online and take a drive to Chi-Town to go light shit up. It's not going to happen. L.A. don't give a fuck. L.A. don't have the time, the money, the resources. Well, they probably have the resources if they really wanted to. But they don't give a fuck. They don't. They got too many problems here in the hood. They got too many real fucking life issues to follow this trend and want to do something. They'll protect themselves at all costs. And if you fuck with them, they'll blow you down. But as far as, like, getting in the whip and saying, hey, let's go to Chicago and find somebody, they won't. They won't do it. And they'll probably get busted the way there. Fucking little homie probably will do some dumb shit. You know what I mean? And get busted on the way there. They'll probably smoke somebody on the way there, you know, and fuck up the whole mission. That's how they motherfuckers are reckless, bro. They don't give a fuck. Uh, but let's go. And what's crazy, they going to stick out like a sore thumb. Because, you know, they look. They got the look. The beards and all this, you know, that's. I hope they don't go around over there like that, bro. I mean, if they do, it's just going to be a bingo. Hey, I hope they don't do that, bro. I'm like, bro, you need to holler at your folks. That ain't, that's going to turn it into some Cali that thing. Chilling with the answers. Yeah, like, this thing, that, this, that could have been, uh... That could have happened to it from here if they were stupid enough to go to that place. Like that, wide open. Yeah. yeah. And I think that I'm going to press pause on this and end it right here. I hope WAC 100 is not stirring shit up and it's just saying bullshit to speak. You know, it's just to speak to speak. Because we already know that that fool should be, be bullshitting. There's times where I, I agree with him 
because I do think that he be saying some right shit sometimes. But most of the time, 90% of the time, he speaks nothing but bullshit. You know, and if somebody didn't give him a call, I don't know why they would do it. He's from L.A. or L.A. County. Why the fuck would they call the enemy and tell him, hey, bro, we're going to go down there and blow shit down? Unless they told him so he'd be out the way. But whack 100 not in the hood like that anyways. So what the fuck does it matter? Uh, but to all the people from Philly, Chicago, Latin Kings, I hope nobody got disrespected. You guys already know that at the end of the day, you got to, you got to, we could be friends via internet right now. And if, if you guys come down here, I got to, I got to ride with, with, with LA. And that's the same thing for you guys. We can be cool. And if I go down to Chicago, you guys got to ride with your city. You know, don't be fooled by all this bullshit about fucking hate. You know, understand when we're all from gangs or from parts of the city or not, you don't even have to be a gang member. You're just going to ride with yours first. You know, if everything's all cool, we're all cool. But if it's not cool, then I got to ride with who I got to ride with. All right. So uh, fuck the bullshit. Everything's solid. Salute to everybody that was mentioned in this video. Don't fall for the bullshit, the agenda. Uh, what they did to PNB Rock was wrong. Uh, they shouldn't have took boy out like that. They should have took his shit, slapped him on the back of the head, and kept him moving. You know, but I did see a video where PNB Rock was talking mad fucking bullshit to some guy uh, while, while they were on the live. And a lot of shit you do comes back to haunt you. So beware of what you say and who you say it to. Okay? Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video. Make sure you guys go follow Tops Kings for that giveaway. I'm Blue Devil. This has been the Hater World production, and we out.